So we're still talking all things Christmas and we're going to do some red velvet cupcakes because nothing says Christmas like a red velvet cu cupcake. But to give it the extra festive twist, we're going to do some elf frosting today. Um, so to start off with, I've separated two eggs. So I've got my yolks here and my whites here. And we're going to just whip these egg whites up until they form stiff peaks. We'll start off by doing that. It's a little bit noisy, it won't take a minute. If you've got an electric whisker, it makes it a lot quicker and a lot simpler. If you don't have an electric whisker, you need big muscles. So you can see they're very quickly become opaque and then start to gain in size. So this is the consistency that we want, like that. If I put it on my head, it won't drop. We won't try it, just to be, just to be safe. So I'm just gonna move this out of the way. So now we're going to prepare the dry ingredients. So I'm gonna keep the wet and the dry separate. So I just need my sieve. And into the sieve, it's gonna go some plain flour. It's 160 grams actually of plain flour straight into my sieve and then to that I'm going to add some corn flour bicarbonate of soda and then some cocoa so the red velvet cupcakes obviously are traditionally a chocolatey cake so I'm not putting loads in um, but just enough to give it that depth of chocolatey flavour and I'm just going to sieve all this together. I mean, flour generally these days comes pre-sieved but I always find that the cocoa powder is the part that ends up having big lumps in it so I still like to sieve it all. It's a really light cupcake as well. So our dry ingredients are done and ready, our egg whites are done and ready, so it's time to start mixing the rest of the ingredients. So I'm going to put into my mixing bowl, my electric whisker, 60 grams of unsalted butter and it's room temperature. It's really important that the butter is room temperature, otherwise it's not going to mix together. And to that I'm going to add in my caster sugar. So 200 grams of caster sugar is going in and I'm just going to get that mixing together. So this recipe's got both butter and oil in it. And the reason being, one kind of gives the texture and the other gives the flavor. So it's got the best of both really. So I'm just gonna mix this until it all starts to come together and it's light and fluffy. Okay, and now I'm going to add in my vegetable oil. So at this point, don't panic if it looks like it's split at all. It will all come back together and it will work. So that's all combined. So now I'm going to add in my egg yolks one at a time. And then this recipe is very vanilla -y and we're going to put two teaspoons of vanilla extract in. Now I'm going to add in just half a teaspoon of just white distilled vinegar and don't panic, it won't taste the vinegar at all but what it does do is it creates a reaction which gives this lovely light cupcake. So it's just half a teaspoon and I promise you, you won't taste it. Okay, I'm just going to turn this off for a minute because now I'm going to add in some red food colouring red velvet cupcakes need red food colouring. So you can put in whatever amount you like. These are quite potent, these, so you don't need a great deal. But you can start off with a small amount and then add it in as, it, as you need more. You can't take it out, always remember that. Wait, 
white so it's all mixed in and I can see how deep the red colour I've got. Go a little more. It is Christmas, why not? I'm just going to add a little bit more in. And that should be perfect. let that mix in okay so now I'm going to start adding in my dry ingredients and my buttermilk so I'm going to start with the dry ingredients and I'm also going to end with the dry ingredients and alternate with the buttermilk in between so I'm just going to start by adding turn it a little down a little bit so that there's not such an explosion of flour when I start adding this in so I'm going to start by adding some of my dry And then we'll add in some of the buttermilk. And then a little bit more of the dry ingredients. Just let that incorporate. These cupcakes are my daughter's favourite. If we ever go anywhere where they serve cupcakes, the first thing she asks for is red velvet. So I think she'll be making an appearance when she sees these coming out of the oven. So that's the last of the buttermilk, so now I can finish by adding in the rest of the dry ingredients. Let that all mix in. Okay, so I'm just going to finish the rest of that myself because I always think that the mixer leaves little bits on the edges and on the bottom. So let's just take this off. Give this a mix, get the rest of this flour that's just around the edges and on the bottom. And then I'm going to fold in my egg whites. So I'm going to fold those in gently because I don't want to deflate them. So let's add in these egg whites. Go straight in. And I'm just going to fold these in just until they're incorporated. So the folding is basically you take it from the outside and fold the mixture over and then slowly, without deflating the egg whites, it mixes them in. Okay, I think that's done. Okay, so now... I'm going to get my tray which I've already lined with my festive cupcake cases. And I'm literally just going to use an ice cream scoop and scoop into each one of these. Okay, so these are ready now. They're going to go into the oven about 180 for about 20 minutes until a toothpick comes out clean when inserted or they're a little bit springy when you touch them on the top. So let's get them in the oven. Okay, so our cupcakes have been in the oven for around 20 minutes. It's time to get them out. looking gorgeous. They're going to look even better when they get their elf frosting. Okay so our cupcakes are cooled and now for me is the best part where you get to decorate and have some fun. 
So what I'm going to do is I thought it'd be nice to have a little surprise in the centre of our cupcakes as well. So you can either just cut out with a knife or these, this is a cupcake corer, really simple to use. So I'm just going to stick the cupcake corer into the cupcake and give it a twist and pull it out and then it pulls out some of the cake and leaves a nice little hole for us. So I'm going to keep that to put back in in a minute. So I'm just going to repeat on a couple of these. So push in, pull out. You see you get these perfect little holes in the cupcakes. So it's just going to make it easy for us to create that lovely little surprise inside. Okay, so that's all our holes made. So here I've got some chocolate buttercream, some vanilla buttercream and some elf frosting. So we're going to get started on our decorators. So to begin with, I'm going to start off by popping some chocolate buttercream into our holes. do some elf frosting to begin with. So I'm just going to start around the edge. is before I run out of my elf frosting I'm going to put some of this inside these because I think they look really cool to have the colours inside even though this has got a swirly tip on I'm going to put some of the vanilla into this one make it neat with my swirly tip. Okay, let's just slice the tops of our lids again. If my husband was here now, he'd be eating the crumbs off the plate. Okay, so with some of these I'm going to do the chocolate on the top. a little bit more festive. So we've got our little Santas that can go on, our Christmas trees, let's get our little reindeers, I'm going to put some sprinkly stars, a Santa, we've got a gingerbread man, penguin and then we've got some Christmas sprinkles so you can basically decorate with whatever you've got and at this time of year there's so many things in the shops as well 
to choose from. And then just to add a little bit of more of a festive touch on our little lovely shiny glitter spray. Red velvet cupcakes with elf frosting.